Hi, here at Bedham TV, we often talk about Aftal, A-F-T-A-L. You wonder, what is Aftal? Aftal is a very established, very respected autograph trade dealers association. But when you see that name, you know that that means that everything we bring you comes with the utmost top provenance. You'll get a certificate of authenticity, you get a lifetime guarantee, and you can buy safe in the knowledge that with that Aftal name and the items we bring you, get the real thing. Hi there, great to be with you today on Benham TV for another fabulous hour of collectibles with me, Debbie Jones, and the wonderful Gary Ashburn. Now, we are doing TV and film favourites, but you know you've always been my TV favourite. Uh, you tell me that was going to be a little secret. Oh. Oh. I get you talking, isn't it? Is how that long, true, honestly? How long have you been doing collectibles? Because you are oh. the king of collectibles. Well, I've been doing it really ever since that famous uh, three-lettered shopping channel began in the UK. Yeah. Uh, let me guess who that is. Yeah. Eh? Uh -huh. When they first sort of started dragging us on there, they were looking for someone with a big mouth who knew a lot about collectibles. Yeah. And yeah, it's gone on so well over, I don't know, 25 years now. Oh, well, you're marvellous. Both been doing and, it for um, about the same time. Yeah. yeah. So quite a long yeah. time. And um, today, we We've got this super hour, and it's so varied, it really is. We've got everything from Marilyn Monroe to Dracula. So what are we starting off with? Me. You didn't look at yeah. me when you said Dracula. <laughs> I didn't look at you when I said Dracula. She's lovely, isn't she, Lily? Yeah, yeah we've got amazing. Now, what we're going to start with, this in my fair hand here, I'm going to show you as it is. This comes to you in this fabulous display box, right, with a name. The name is a little clue, as you will see, Marilyn Monroe. That's clever, isn't it? Eh? Okay. Now, when we open it up, what is it, Gaz? Right, let me open it up. Here we go. Inside, I'm going to try not to hold this. Inside, you'll see each one of them, it's a collection of colorized coins with all those different images, 10 different images of Marilyn Monroe. Wow, look at that. Now, I'm going to take one out just to show you. You get that is the complete collection of 10 different coins that was made. But if you take one out, they come to you, see, they're easy to lift out. But just to show you, let me shut that for a Should moment. I grab that for you? Yep, do you want all that? And they're half dollars, aren't they? Yep, they're all original. I'm going to turn it around. On the back, you'll see that each one is a genuine silver half dollar from the USA. I don't know if we can get in now quickly, you can see if you can go in there, but you'll probably see if you can get in time that that actually is a genuine USA silver dollar. Now, what they do, it's not a, it's not a souvenir, it's a genuine coin. So you and could what spend they it. Do, well, in theory you could, but yeah. In effect, it's defaced, I yeah, suppose, but yeah. it is a genuine coin. But if you turn it over again, what they do, they actually mint. It's all officially licensed and endorsed in the USA. They mint the front image of Marilyn onto the coin. Now, these have only been done with people like Elvis. They've done them with Marilyn Monroe. Very, very famous. Very, very, very yeah. few ever done. But you get the complete collection of 10 different images. And you'll probably see, if I turn that round, it's in this case. It's actually in um, a Perspex <laughs> display case. So in actual fact, it's untouched by human hand. Brilliant, look. isn't it? So it's, that adds to its uh, collectible value. I'm just going to whack it for a minute. Look, you can see that's a hard perspex case. So that is untouched by human hand. And I'm going to tell you what it says here: the certificate yeah. of authenticity. And I'm going to do it in an American accent, whether you like it or not. It says Marilyn Monroe colorized half dollar collection. This guarantees that the coins in your set are genuine JFK half dollars and our legal tender struck in the U.S. Mint. And this collection has been enhanced by a unique colorization process. There you go. That's what I said, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, they agree with what I told you. But basically, that is it. And as you can say, if I put it back in, you'll see you've 10 different, thank you, images they are really really rare now these these were bought some time ago there aren't many collections of these left but for a Marilyn Monroe fan really is a great item or if you're pneumocysts yeah I've been practicing that what one. a pneumocyst is a coin collector wow so these will apply to or appeal to pneumocysts or coin collectors TV film collectors and anything to do with Marilyn Monroe is massively 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 
popular. Mm. It's absolutely superb. I remember years ago on another TV uh, engagement, I went to America and in LA. I had to meet the American, she's been voted America's top Marilyn Monroe yeah. impersonator. I had to go to her house and spend, this was very difficult, spend half the day watching her get dressed, <laughs> sort of undressed, and reappearing through the various stage of Marilyn Monroe. And then we walked through, you know, Hollywood, through Sunset wow. Boulevard, holding my arm, and all the cars too, because she's Marilyn Monroe, yeah. you know. You but I got the sack, because I put my hand very near her, her rear portions, and I got sacked immediately, because you don't touch, you know, but I didn't mean to. Well, I tell she's you had lovely eyes, but yes. anyway, that's another story. Such a horror. So what have we got next? <laughs> yeah, that's the Marilyn Monroe. Yep. Yeah. But they are fabulous and really, really rare. I mean, we get the complete collection of 10 different coins. Really, really special. And I think they're a fabulous price. £69.50, that's like £6.95 good, a coin. Yeah. Nothing. Moving on, yeah, we're going to this look at this image. This is oh, Greta Garbo. Greta Garbo. I've never yeah. met her. Yeah. But understand, uh, the, the, give me the number first. It's 300419. 300 and you get in that framed image of Greta Garbo with a genuine hand signed personal check of Greta right. Garbo. So it's a hand signed check there from 1942. Comes to you in that great presentation as you see it there. And that is so, so rare. It's £1,795. But this is actually one of the rarest, seriously most mm -hmm. rare items you'll ever find in the world of TV film. It makes you wonder how much is that? I can't film. see, I haven't got my glasses on. It no. makes you wonder how much is the cheque signed for? Because it yeah. might be worth buying it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think the cheque is something like, I don't know, I can't see it from now. I think $42 or yeah, something. Yeah, you know, a not a lot. lot. But the, yeah. actual, the point is, obviously, this is one of the ways cheque collecting of celebrities became very oh, popular. Right. Of course, you can't forge a yeah, cheque, yeah. can you? Gosh, I don't know. So it's a great way of knowing that the cheque is signed by the celebrity themselves. Yeah. And often they'll have a different autograph for, for collectors, which yeah. might be, a, you know, yeah. the cheque obviously has to be your normal signature. Wow. So it brings you a different type of signature on an, a document that you know is 100% genuine. Oh, do you know I'm surprised at the places people find these things? I mean, who I the know. heck found the cheque? Well, they've they probably say. been through the bank looking. Yeah. But Greta Garbo was apparently very reclusive yeah, and led a very was. private life. Yeah. So she's actually, in a serious way, she's rated one of the six rarest signatures right. in the entire world of TV and film collectibles. Yeah, she was very, very quiet, close to her chest. She didn't, yeah. didn't want to be there. So that is one of the most unique and rarest things you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. And if you're a serious collector, do have a think about that, because yeah. that is absolutely amazing. Remember, all the signed material does come with a certificate of authenticity, and you get a lifetime guarantee, and it has that name of Aftal. Do look it up, A-F-T-A-L. They are the top people in the world, the most respected autograph trade dealers association. Yeah. But it means you can buy safe in the knowledge it is 100% genuine. There's no ifs, no buts, the real McCoy. They authenticate yeah. to police, trading stands, everybody. So yeah. really important. Well, that's a fa fabulous piece. And don't forget, you can, um, you can call the number on the screen or you can actually email info at benhamtv, benham.tv. If you want to know, I mean, look, sometimes people might think I've got to have it, but I wish I could pay it over two months or whatever. And, you know, we, well, I'm sure we can well, help. Well, they, they do have some special terms yeah. there, so do give us a call or send an email and we can sort that out for you as well. Lovely. Moving on to the old, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, the yeah, old, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know, I can kick the same height as my off. head. Can you? I can. I think that's what happened to me one yeah, night, that's wasn't it? it? Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Jackie Chan. This Jackie Chan. Now, again, I want to bore you, but I was actually in Hong Kong when these stamps were launched to the public really? on the press occasion. Oh. Now, the crowds went ballistic. Yeah. There was over 40,000 people there, right? Oh, and when right. Jackie Chan came in, because I know the organiser actually produced yeah. the stamps, he actually hid behind me and he went with my raincoat over his head. Ah. And to this day, I've never seen it. So Jackie Chan, if you've still got my raincoat, I'd like it back. <laughs> well, it was the way they got him out of the building. They could, rain, couldn't see him in my raincoat. Your raincoat's probably worth a fortune now on the collectible market. <laughs> yeah, he is. All you yeah. can see was two little legs moving <laughs> under it, because he's not very big. But anyway, yeah. Jackie Chan, this is original, genuine, licensed and endorsed postage stamps collectively make a montage of Jackie Chan in action, yeah. framed up very, very, you know, look at that price, very affordable, very, very collectible, good. can't go wrong, 14 basically. 14 95 Yeah. That's it, for anyone who's got a kid that's doing 
uh, judo, jiu-jitsu, ju I can't even pronounce it, jiu-jitsu, ju yeah. or, or karate, or anything like that, the martial arts. Can't what a wrong. great, what a great gift it for really under is. 15 pounds. The number's 300 420. Grab it quick. We don't have too many of those left, but that is Jackie Chan. If you move on, staying with your martial arts, probably even bigger is, of course, the infamous oh, Bruce, Bruce Lee. Lee. Do you know, what do you reckon a signed autograph of Bruce Lee would cost, roughly? Oh, just Bruce Lee? Well, didn't he... He died quite young, didn't he? He did, yeah. I would say a signed autograph, I don't know, 250 quid, 500 quid? More like £25,000 <gasps> No, yeah. I have no idea. He is so rare. Oh, wow. This is your opportunity. He's probably your icon if you're into, um, obviously, martial arts. Again, they're all artist impressions of Bruce Lee recreated onto genuine postage stamps. You That's can take nice those off that. and use them. It's a montage effect of Bruce Lee. Very, very affordable. The number's 300421. And again, the price, £14.95. Well, when you consider oh, no, how, wrong. how much the autograph would be, that's yeah. a steal, isn't it? It's Can't really, really and it's good. it's a great way to actually find something. There's very little about a Bruce Lee that isn't exceptionally expensive. It's your opportunity to get something. I know they're artist impression, but they look great. Can't go wrong with yeah. that, can you? Well, the next thing is something that uh, I'm really into, The Lord of the Rings. Really? Yeah. I've watched all the films. Well, you're of... the Lord of the Manor, they say. Oh, listen to him, listen to him. So, so... Lady of the Manor, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Don't be giving me a sex change. Sorry, getting a right. smack that. Yeah. <laughs> The Lord of the Rings, framed and mounted collector's uh, stamp sheet or sheetlet, as we call them, a little sheet. Yeah. Um, this is lovely. I like this very much indeed. I think the whole the whole epic Lord of the Rings thing is great. I can watch it again and again. And just 29.95. Yeah, and again, really special. The number for this is 300-422. But what you've actually got, again, each one of those is a genuine postage stamp. Yeah. It's a typical Benham item, like the previous two. Each one is a genuine postage stamp from Australia. Yeah. Now, this was only available on a limited availability and then withdrawn. Right. So it's extremely rare and very hard to get this now. The sheet itself, very, very hard hard to come across because mm. it was only available right and obviously Lord of the Rings fans stamp collectors worldwide yeah. snap them up there's very very few of those left right. if you want that you must get in quickly and it's a great but they price. are genuine postage That's stamps great. from Australia how good and all you have to do is call us or get in touch with us here at Benham TV by email now our next one oh Oh, a blast from the cartoon past. Yeah. Bag puss, a framed and mounted <laughs> prince, print. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a slip up. And personally signed by Oliver Postgate and Peter Furman. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? As you say, the number 30423. Basically, it's all framed and mounted, ready. If you're somebody, you're a collector or you yeah. know someone who's particularly into something like bag puss, all of these make fabulous gifts. And when we talk back through the whole of this show, when we talk about, you know, personally yeah. signed, we mean 100% genuine that those people, these celebrities have held them in their hand and personally signed them. They're not facsimiles, they're not photocopies, they're genuine signatures. And that's what makes them so desirable, so collectible, and whoever you buy them for are going to cherish them forever. Yeah, so um, and it's so cute as well. Maybe celebrate having a baby or something like that. You know, it'd look great in a nursery. Yeah, it would. But wouldn't uh, it? you know, it's lovely. It's, I've got one that I bought for Ruth, uh, and it was a, a limited edition uh, Disney print. Oh yeah, uh, great. Uh, yeah, didn't Dumbo. They? Yeah, Dumbo, and it's just Reminded gorgeous. Reminded me of you, me, yeah, did it? Hey, yeah, you got that. Yeah, you yeah. be very careful. <laughs> so that's bag puss, and the number is uh, three hundred. Uh, t four, two, three, and now yeah. onto something so unbanked, puss. I can't imagine. Yeah, now Hammer fans, what can you say? The man himself. Give us your neck. So Christopher Lee. Yeah, what about that? Eh? Now, in my opinion, this is grossly underpriced. It's three hundred four two four. It's a great comes to you frame like that. That great image of the man himself. Sir Christopher Lee, who of course was Dracula, also yeah. was in a lot of cult movies. Wasn't oh, he? he was yes, in James Bond, absolutely. in Star Wars, for example. He was in lots and lots of great, great shows. Really is a fabulous item. Now, what you've got here is this great photograph of Sir Christopher Lee as Dracula, and then underneath here, we can probably pick out that is his genuine 
hand signed signature. It's great, isn't it? With that, we can tell you where it was signed and when it was signed. That's how special it is. And in fact, in this format, as you can see, they only had a, a few of these. We don't have all 50. They only had 50 of them available, so it's a limited edition yeah. of only 50. That would be a great that, present. Yes, yeah, normally anyone who's into it, yeah. I would say in the open marketplace, that would be at least 200, 250 That's pounds. superb. And the thing is, really is, if you've rare. got someone who's got a birthday on Halloween, yeah. what a great present. What yeah. a great present. It is. It's a fabulous idea. You love your drag, you know, I'm yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, can you? Superb. Absolutely superb. Do get in there for that. The number again, 300424. Personally signed again by Sir Christopher Lee and a great price, a fabulous price, £89.95. Saying to me, You there, <laughs> buy me <laughs> and bring me home to your abode. Who was that? <laughs> Sorry, that was our female producer just had a swallow the humbug, I think. Thought you were going to say anyway. female presenter. Now, no. our next one now. This brings back memories to me. Let's just take a look at it. Thunderbirds, uh, collector's stamps, sheetlet and first aid cover collection. Signed by Jerry Anderson. Yeah. Signed, Jerry it's Anderson. Super, that is it? unbelievably good. That. Yeah, that's look at the that. side of you there. I Here mean, it is. Yeah, it's again, super. you can see it's a limited edition of only 100 of these in the entire world. Yeah. There's only 100 exist of these in its entirety. Yeah. And as you say, it does carry the, the I'm gonna pull full it in signature just a little bit. of Jerry Here Anderson. So look at that. Yeah. What you've actually got is that full set of Great Britain postage stamps yes. that were created in honour of Thunderbirds. Yeah. And you've got the first day cover and what's really exciting you've got the image of Jerry That's Anderson great. but he's personally signed it for That's Thunderbird great. fans it's the holy grail it is isn't wonderful it? and Couldn't I remember years ago buying from you on a channel that we were both working on yeah Tracy Island all right so again yes. from a husband for a, for a Christmas present thing for a part of it and had this been around then, I'd have bought this too because he loved Thunderbirds. Yeah. It wasn't the it's same a, when they did it as a cartoon, was it? No. I it liked was, seeing uh, the, the strings. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, the most people say operate. Yeah, like I liked that. all you that. Know, much better, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and again, like that, as you can see, they're all individually numbered. There's only a hundred of them left, and that is it. We don't have all hundred. In fact, that's how small it is. But if you know someone who loves Thunderbirds, that is a must for their collection. You cannot go wrong yeah. with that. Beautifully framed, put together. Uh -huh. Any Thunderbirds fan would adore it. I love it. Look and signed, this. of course, by the man himself. Fantastic. £59. That is wonderful. Any, and I'm talking about big boys here, boys toys, people from the Big Bang Theory, my favourite programme on telly. You know, they, they like all this sort of thing and Star Wars stuff. Yeah, That's great. Can't go wrong. So just you? call us if you fancy that. And now on to the two Ronnies. Yeah, but the two Ronnies, I adore the two Ronnies. I really do. They're fabulous. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting both of them, actually. But um, Ronnie, Ronnie Corbett used to live quite near me. Yeah. So I used to see him in the street sometimes. Oh, right. He often used to, I don't know to be rude, because he's a nice guy, did a lot for charity. He'd always put his baseball cap down and, and think you didn't recognise him. But <laughs> he's, he's fairly recognisable. He is, know? isn't he? All right, Ron. Yeah. But he was always around. And Ronnie Barker was one of the most humble, quiet, yeah. unassuming people yes. you'd ever meet. He actually collected um, postcards and anything to do with the theatre. Right. And he had his own sort of antique business up in Oxfordshire yeah. as well. So he was really into collectibles. Right. But off stage, like a lot of British comedians, almost very introvert. You know yeah. how you know their, their style and their, their perception is they're very outgoing. Yeah. He was really quiet and unassuming and very yeah. gentle, lovely guy. But anyone who loves the two Ronnies is, is phenomenal. What you've actually got with that, by the way, is yeah, I don't know if we can get in closer briefly on that, please, but when you look at it, the image of the two Ronnies, if you go up a bit, you'll see those images, those stamps. Yeah. They're actually artist impressions of original Great Britain postage stamps that capture famous British comedians. You'll right. see Tommy Cooper, like Eric Morkham, Joyce yeah. Grenfell, Les Dawson and Peter Cook. They're all genuine, yeah. actual postage stamps. So you've got the full range of the British comedy stamps, and then you've got the signatures of Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett. That's brilliant. You'll probably notice if you're observant, 
this one hasn't got the signature of Ronnie Corbett on, but I understand the ones that we'll be selling will have both signatures on. Yeah. I'll check that for you as well, but I'm pretty sure it will have both signatures and on. And a great so price a great as well. great price as well. Yeah. Where else would you go to get yeah, that? £99, superb. Yeah, it's a so, stunning item. Looks really great put it on the wood. It, it, it does, and I know there's a comedian, I don't know if you've heard of him, John Martin. Yeah. He's got a beautiful house in Wales. And when I went to his house, um, he's got the walls lined with stuff like that. Has he? He collects yeah. anything to do with British comedians. Oh, sad we lost Sir Ken Dodd yeah. uh, in uh, March. That was a that was a sad sad day. It was. But anyway, anyway, this one is great. The two Ronnies, and that's just ninety nine pounds. Can't go wrong. It yeah. really is very very collectible. Okay. Grab it while you can. Very few of them left. And now the the my favourite. I've seen every episode. I love it. I got dressed up as uh, Adina once with my friend. She was Patsy. Ab Fab. Same story. Basically, you've got the same set of British postage stamps on here. You'll probably see if we can go there. You'll capture them in the middle. The same images of those British postage stamps. So you've got the full range of the Great Britain comedy stamps there. Same Tommy Cooper, Eric Morgan, Joyce Grenfell, Les Dawson and Peter Cook. But what they've done, they've captured them and placed them into this wonderful print yeah. of Ab Fab. And then you've got the personal signatures by most of the key cast. And if we can see these signatures, if we maybe see these close up, possibly, can we please? So well, we've you got all the main ones. Joanna Lumley, yep. Yeah, you've got Joanna Lumley. You've got down here, they're all there. Look, you know, Jane Horrocks. You've got Julie Sawala, June Whitfield. And of course, Jennifer. up there, Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. So they're all actually hand signed. Right. They're not copies, they're not prints. Every one of those actresses has held that in their hand and personally signed it. It's a fabulous item. You've even got the special postmark here in the corner. You I was wondering actually what that, that was. In. That's where it's been through the, uh, the uh, you know, through the postal system by my finger. And they've had it specially designed saying, um, get. Uh, get party you know get comedy party and all this so it's all about the comedy and everything relating to the effect but it's a great item if you're an ab fan i love it i love wonderful. it i was yeah. at a charity auction a big one recently in london and one of them went for over 500 pounds i'm not surprised in the, in the event that's yeah. what they go for because it is really rare and it looks <coughs> great if you love ab together. fab you love that absolutely yeah. superb love really it. really is yeah <laughs> then we move on to another lady that i was uh fortunate enough to meet on many cases you've she became them all. You <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that. them all she became a great friend of course and that was <coughs> the legendary ingrid pitt who of course was famous as countess dracula yes she was also in the movie uh where eagles dare with um clint eastwood yeah. and um what was it clint eastwood and richard burton wasn't it yeah and some of the stories she told i mean i can't tell them on television but yeah. she was she was a storyteller, she was yeah. an ambassador, she was fun, she epitomised everything in life that was yeah. fun. A lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Very glamorous and, as well. Yeah, Very and so, glamorous. So, you know, hello darling, how yeah, are you? you know, she's lovely, you know. You could take her in a local tea shop for a lump of cake and a coffee. <laughs> no morals, nothing, just a yeah. really lovely lady. And she and signed it personally. Yeah, and again, personally signed. There's that image of her in uh, in that movie, of course, that's from, I think, Where Eagle. Is that from Where Eagle? Is that, or is that, as, that might be as Countess Dracula, isn't it? But again, this is personally signed. Yeah. Personally signed, and she was universally known. If you bought the one there of Christopher Lee, yes. you, I would say you buy that oh, as well. Because then you've got Countess Dracula. Yeah. There she is, look, in all her splendour. So Absolutely fly. superb. The legendary Ingrid Pitt, who was Countess Dracula, sadly no longer with us, yeah. lovely lady. And she really is fabulous. And that is her genuine personal yeah. what, a what a great I was actually sat with her. I was actually sat with her when she signed it. So yeah. oh, don't brilliant. get any better. And all that info comes with the certificate. Oh, well, that's great. And your lifetime uh, guarantee. Yeah. Well, we're going to someone totally different now. Not sexy at all, but no. just, just as worthy 
of being immortalised, and we've got the signature here. More they do bring yes, on show. Right? All that, and More oh, no, Wise, no, classic oh, photo sorry. personality. Now yeah. uh, this one's signed by Ernie Wise. Yeah, sadly <laughs> Eric Morecambe, I believe, had already left us by the time this was signed. But it's a great image. Again, if you're building a collection, or maybe you have a business, maybe you have a bar, a hotel, or somewhere yeah. like that, restaurant, something like this. These really do turn heads. Maybe you've been to places like the Hard Rock Cafe. Cafe, uh, Sticky Fingers, places like that that have yep. a lot of memorabilia on the walls. Um, these really do turn heads, don't they? Yes. And that's what you've got here. Again, that is personally signed by Ernie Wise himself. Yeah. Beautifully produced. I love it in black and white. Yeah, I do. It looks clothes. so good in black and white. Da 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 Batman! Very good. I now, thought you weren't going to pick up that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, a lot of people think I did get him. You know, that's the old joke, isn't it? What's Bat Batman's wife tell him his dinner's ready? What's she called him? I don't know, go on. She goes, Batman, come with your dinner, 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 dinner. Oh, anyway, right, dinner, 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 dinner. dinner. That Sorry. was terrible. Yeah, awful, <laughs> wasn't it? And I, believe it or not, I did, I did originally have a screen test for Penguin. Oh, stop it. But I didn't smoke, so I didn't get it. Oh, listen. Anyway, what we're going with this is back to the original. Now, I should say that Batman, obviously you've had, you know, Batman's been played by um, George Clooney yeah. and Michael Keaton. But no disrespect to them. When you go to these cult collectibles, you know what I mean? Yeah, The Adam original, West. everybody wants yeah. the original. It's yeah. like Star Wars. They want the original actors. They don't yeah. want the ones who played them second, third generation. Yeah. They want the ones who played them originally. Adam West and Burt Ward are the... The, the icons of Batman and, yeah. and whatever. And they take you back to Gotham City when it was on TV, when yeah. even when I was a kid, it was that long ago. Yeah. And everybody wants them. Sadly, Adam West no longer with us. And, and it really is a travesty, but everybody wants them. That could never be replaced because yeah. they're no longer here. Well, I'm sure, you're saying he's no longer with us. So he, he must have died quite recently. Cause yeah, Adam I, yeah I, I, I saw him on The Big Bang Theory because, you know, they're all, all right. geeks. And yeah. they went out uh, dressed as Robin and they had all this. And Adam Ward, uh, Adam West, I should say, no. he was actually in it. They played him. They paid him to go to Sheldon's birthday party. Oh, really? That's what it was. Oh, wow. They pay, paid Adam West. Yeah. And all he was doing, he was sitting there drinking, saying, when do I get paid? When do I get paid? Yeah, it was very yeah. funny. Great. Great, great series. That so yeah, it takes you back to the original series, but something yeah. that's a true piece of nostalgia, memorabilia. Yeah. Maybe you grew up for that period. That takes you back to the original time of when you saw it on the TV screens in the afternoon. Maybe you saw it later through you know Facebook, YouTube. But everybody, yeah. that's the time they want it, and both of them genuine and signed signatures. Yeah, so brilliant. And Batman, it it, it will never fade from our memory. Never. Now, what 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 do you say? Hello, Parker. Hello, Majesty. <laughs> my lady, isn't it? My lady. Sorry, my lady. You Hello, my lady. Me. You've given I me would a take role. me out of, but I didn't have it on the start. Yeah, with. we've got Lady Penelope now. Lady Penelope signed by Jerry and Sylvia Anderson. This is great. Which makes it really collectible yeah, and wow. even more rare. Because Sylvia Anderson, obviously, if you're in the game, you'll know she was very, very involved in the whole concept yeah, very of Thunderbirds yeah. and was a, a, a real, you know, well, she was the she was there all the time allegedly for Jerry Anderson, yeah. wasn't she? And so basically, you've got both signatures there of her. This is an actual um, first day cover that was produced again with the original postage stamp, all officially licensed and endorsed. Yeah. It's all framed up, ready to just hang on your wall. But with both those signatures, again, extremely rare. Yeah, it, it really is extremely rare. You do get rare things item. signed by Jerry Anderson, but to actually get the two of them signing one collectible item yeah is brilliant it's it really, really is and again at that price <laughs> great price for that with uh, both of their signatures on so don't miss out on that it's a great great item and very very few of them left yeah okay now we are on to oh be still my beating heart the man who I fell in love with, and I'm old enough to be his mother. Oh, Orla you tell me you oh, weren't no. going to tell everyone. Oh, no, Orlando Bloom. Yeah. In, I watched him in, was it, the first Pirates of the Caribbean. I hadn't really taken much notice of him before then. No. And I fell head, head over heels. Look at him. Look at that. How could you not fall for that gorgeous, gorgeous boy? <laughs> Do you think so he looks a handsome. bit like me? Nothing like yeah. you no, not in really. your dreams. Not even with a light off. Not, nothing no. like you ever. 
is just the most same colour here. Uh, same yeah. colour shirt. Well, well yeah. his back cloth is the same colour as your yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about uh, it, I'm afraid. Uh, oh, never this mind. is wonderful, and it's signed, a framed edition. Uh, that's not actually in a frame. No, what that, what we've actually got there, um, that one is. It will come framed, but of course that is an original photograph of. Yeah. Um, I think we've got the wrong image there. We actually have the Orlando Bloom. That is the signed photograph of Orlando Bloom, right. which comes a little later in our show. Right. The number for that is actually, um, I think, is three hundred double four one. Well, double yeah, four that's one. the photograph. That yeah. is the image. And that but the um, the other one we're looking at there that we're coming to now is actually the Orlando Bloom, which is a signed Lord of the Rings framed edition. So I think that is a different one. So right. we have two signatures of, of Orlando Bloom. One is the Lord of Rings framed edition that you're now going to look at. Yeah, shall we just give the details on. of this? Yeah. Uh, so we'll just swap them around for the, for the second. The one you've just been looking at is Orlando Bloom, a beautiful photo there. And it's personally signed by him. Uh, it's just £95. And if you want to order that, what a gorgeous, gorgeous boy he is. Yeah. And it's 300 double four one. That's 300 double four one. A classic picture of Orlando Bloom there at just £95. And they'll probably, if they flip back to the screen, which you're going to see now, you'll also see the Lord of the Rings image of Orlando, which is signed there, as you can see, by Orlando Bloom, which uh, we'll get on for you. The Orlando Bloom one again is 300 432. So we'll, uh, we'll show that. Yeah. And that's a framed edition, and that particular one is just £65. That's good, isn't it? It is. Can't pounds. go wrong. And then you move on. What else could you say? OK, well, we've the got... The man himself. Oh, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. The, the, the father, him and... Warren Buster, Lambeth, wasn't Buster he? Keaton was supposed to be the precursors to every type of physical comedy that yeah. there is. And this is Charlie Chaplin, framed... Um, and mounted it will be we're just showing you the photograph now photo presentation personally signed so that's uh, a it's, wonderful one that yeah it actually comes to you that the frame that you're looking at there is slightly different it does actually come with a f they've blown the picture up but it's actually come in a frame but have a, a, a picture of of Charlie Chaplin from his traditional style and then you have the smaller photograph of him there that you see the vintage photograph with his personal signature. Now that one, so yeah, it that's, really is that's a stunning worth a, item. An arm and a leg it like is. That. It's a very, very rare item. Him yeah. as a young man as you can see. But you've also got the image of him that's more famous for in a role, you know, with the old Tash and the bowler hat and the uh, spinning stick and well, all that. Well, Charlie but Chaplin now, I mean, that's £1,975. It's something which is, I mean, I don't know, you're the collectible king, but I'm not daft because I've done a lot of shows with you. It's the sure. type of thing that could, in the future, become a lot more valuable because how many Charlie Chaplin signatures are there still well, in they're, existence they're or very available? Few. Yeah, very There's not few. not that many. And obviously, the fact this is an older one when he was a very young man, yeah. to actually have that of that era is even rarer. So yes. in actual fact, that adds to the desirability for a collector yeah. or for a fan, whatever it is. But Charlie Chaplin, extremely rare. And that is your opportunity to own really a piece of film history. Yeah. Very, very rare. Obviously, it's a, you know, a considered purchase. But yeah. do give us a call at Benham or go to the, uh, send them an email to <laughs> info at Benham TV or, go, or check the website www.benhamtv. But if you're interested in that and perhaps you want to investigate paying that on terms, you know, over several months give them a call drop them an email and they'll come back to you and give you some idea hopefully you can get that maybe you know you might have a two or three payments but give them a call and we'll try and sort that out for a bit don't delay because that is once it's gone yeah. it will never be replaced it's one you of those things it. that you just think where would i ever get one yeah so if you'd like that just give us a call and we'll sort you out but now we're going on to, can we can we look into the eyes of this gorgeous oh god you know i used to think he was so handsome um, Michael Caine. This yeah. is a classic film photo, a classic film photo. Beautiful, yeah. absolutely and, lovely, and, and personally it, signed. Which I tell you, oh gosh, there's the signature yeah. nestling, nestling on the back of his hand. I was frantically looking white. for that. Then. Yeah, 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 on his white. And uh, that raincoat. is just beautiful, and yeah. only 150 pounds, guys. Well, Michael Caine is always very, very popular. Yeah, really popular. 
And obviously, he, you know, he's done so many roles yeah. now. I mean, he's, was he an Alfie there? Yeah, I think that, that might be a, an Alfie. I think yeah. he's an Alfie. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's a sexy devil. I mean, it said Get Carter, but I think that's in Alfie, didn't I, you? Yeah, I don't, well, it looks like Alfie sure. to me, but you yeah, know. Yeah, I think mean, it is. You'll yeah. know, wouldn't you? But whoever it is, it's Michael Caine. I, I think you're right, actually. I think that is Alfie. He just has that yeah. look about him. Look at, he does. Mind you, but did Alfie great use photograph. a gun? Has he got a gun in his hand there? I'm sure there's a no, I'm sure is, there's, there's is, a line after did, that. Probably is get caught. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, no mistakes. Michael Caine there in a, in a, a character pose, framed up and Gorgeous. mounted. Great photo, and it's personally signed by the man himself. Any fan of Michael Caine would love that. All of these gifts as well. You know, you have a little think about it when it's someone's birthday, oh, anniversary, yeah. maybe somebody leaving present, moving abroad, special birthday, whatever it is, retirement. Maybe club together a few of you. Buy them something they will never, ever I forget. I know, and they'll think about and it that's every time. That's what you get. Well, you look at it, that's right. Can you do the impression of my well, name? Michael Caine. Not real. Go on in. You do I that. can't. I was going to go, my, my name, name is Michael Caine. Yes. <laughs> Oh, was, the one one in, that, in the, was the other one the old Italian joy? Blue, not meant to blow No, I can't say the no, word. No, don't even say it. No, no, well, I let's can't go say on, it. Let's go on to Clark Gable. <laughs> yeah, Clark Gable. <laughs> so here we go. He was a, a love hunk, wasn't yeah. he? Clark Gable, Absolutely my goodness. Absolutely great. He was amazing. And we've got a personally signed photo now of this fabulous Hollywood legend. Take a look, look at, at that, that image of yeah. him. That is him yeah. at his best. Beautiful. Great beautiful. photograph there of Clark Gable. Comes to you framed and mounted. Personally signed, that yeah. is it. So you've got that great photograph and his personal signature, all framed and mounted. But where up the there. heck do you get that a signature from him? You know. Well, obviously, over the years, these things are acclimatised. But the great thing is, what you're getting here is the sort of items, where would you go normally to see them? Yeah. Maybe one of the major high street auction, you know, household yeah. name auction houses. But that's the only place you're going to see items like this. And many of these originate from that yeah. sort of environment, or they've come from museums and places like that. But the key thing, many of these, everything in this hour that's signed, we guarantee 100% is genuine and it's personally signed. Yeah. Not a print, not a copy, personally signed. And remember, you get a certificate of authenticity and you get a lifetime guarantee. And more importantly, Google it if you want that famous name of Aftel. Go and look at it, AFTL. They actually authenticate everything. Yeah, and you know you're safe. It's a bit like Abta when you're travelling. Yeah, Abta, it's right exactly the same. So there we go. So that's the wonderful Clark Gable, a real legend, and something you're not going to see on the open market very often at all. Really. Rare. And on now, the only thing I have in common with this lady are the big knickers, Bridget <laughs> Jones. Are we going to demonstrate Jones. them on air? Or is that, that's after I'm midnight. Not. That's yeah. right. Keep watching. <laughs> now this is personally signed. Look at this by the three main actors in it, uh, uh, Renee Zellweger, uh, Hugh Grant, he's a funny beggar, Henry, but he does make me laugh, um. and Colin Firth. Look at that, that is great. What a great series of films that yeah, was. Yeah, it was. I had the honour of meeting Colin Firth in Hollywood when we went there, you know. Yeah. I don't know how much to scrounge me way on a list of being moved how around. How do you do uh, this? I think it was my innocent looking face, you Get know, it looked like I needed to be moved around. Yeah. And uh, Colin Firth, and I, I better not say her name, but there's a very, very famous English film producer, a lady who lives yeah. just off Sunset Boulevard in LA. And about once a month, she used to have a, She's really hugely well known. You'll probably know the name, but I won't say it out. Respect. Uh, she used to have on. a she used to have a like a monthly soiree yeah. for all the English actors and actresses oh, who lived great. in LA or, or or fringy ones. And somehow she must have had a must have been a thousand away that weekend. Yeah. But I managed to wangle my way in. <coughs> and when you came in, it was like walking into a, a piece of England in the Cots really? or something. Water for crystal glasses oh. and fruit cake and teas and whatever. Yeah. And and it was just amazing. Charming. And lovely garden, immaculately yeah. placed. And it was just off the madness of around the corner of Sunset Boulevard. And she had wow. this little piece of England. And all the English actors and actresses, they were begging and baying to yeah. go there. And they all knew her. Sounds and it a was bit like wonderful. Uh, Luella Hopper and had a whatever her name was. Uh, yeah, that fabulous film. Fury yeah, showed it, you it all was of amazing. That. But he was a really nice guy, and at that stage, you were just just beginning to take off. Yeah, you know? yeah. very humble, very nice, very friendly. Nice life. And again, but as you say, Bridget Jones got massive folly. If you know someone who loves a movie, what a great present! Frame what, it up. I, 
for the yeah, underworld and they, cargo and they, run. Yeah, £250, and they're three of the, the most sought-after um, actors that yeah, you Yeah, iconic buy, signatures, so aren't good, they? Yeah. It's a great, great item. It really is. Now, this next one. Oh. Oh, Humphrey Bogart and Laurel, Laurel, Lauren Bacall. Yeah. Oh, the, the love story of, of all time, gazing yeah. here at each other. Look at that. Gorgeous girl, wasn't it she? It is. I thought it was actually um, from a different movie, but it is actually from, as it says there, The Big Sleep. Yeah. It's a, it's a great item. And to get those signatures, I mean, Humphrey Bogart is just so, so rare. Yeah. And a little tip, if you're going back, I think they're signed in Biro there, aren't they? Let me yeah. look, I'll have a look. If you go back, a little Ball tip. Ballpoint. Yeah, if you're looking yeah. for autographs and you're going back to the real classic, rare autographs of 50, 20, 100 years ago, yeah. do beware if you see them in a black sort of loud felt pen because they weren't even no. around. Well, they did Most that with Salvador Dali. Yeah, that's right. They, they, Most they, the they took him on his deathbed and people... And his, you know, family, lawyers and everyone were just saying, sign, sign. And he had hundreds of just sketches. Mm. And that's what happened. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't I know. right. And the, the biggest problem is a lot of, you know, people who are unscrupulous, people who fake these in, where they get it wrong, at uh, this era, this time, most, many of the signatures were in pencil. Yes, yeah. They're in pencil or biro or yeah. maybe even fountain pen, yeah. which, of course, could smudge. So it's very difficult and very rare to get a, a biro signature, which means it lasts forever. Yeah. But on a, a from a, an autograph book of that period, it's so, it's so rare. Well, this that is, is incredibly rare. This is an rare. amazing piece of history for under £1,500. It's very, it, very good. That it, anyone who wants something really <coughs> unique that comes with Gaz's full recommendation, that is it. You can't go wrong with that. It's so, so rare. Yeah, it's lovely. And I, I just love the way they're looking into each other's eyes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. It's like me and you, anyway. Do you like coffee, oh, darling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her husband's watching. I'll get one of them. Do you mean it, Steve? You know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're on now to the, the phenomenon that was uh, oh, two years ago, the film, the Disney film, Frozen. Oh, let it my, go. Let it yeah. go. Oh, boy. My, even I knew the words to that. Oh. My grandkids, you know, I've got four grandkids. I mean, I told you they're like, well, at the moment, seven, six, no, they're eight now. Eight, eight, seven. Be very careful four. because yeah. you'll be in trouble. And the middle, I won't say her names on there, but the second one is absolutely besotted with Frozen. Frozen yeah. She loved it. I think I've How watched it. How old was she when it came out? Well, she'd have been probably about five, I oh, think, six. Yeah. The and she loves it. And of course, when you're buying presents, I tend to buy one nice present and a big bag full of goodies. You always like you got yeah, a kid. Bits and you know, my kids they always end up you buying all these presents and they, they play with a box. Yeah. It's like a cat. Give it an empty box, it's in heaven. Yeah. Some of your kids or your grandkids, you think, oh my God, I spent all that money, didn't even look at it. I actually now buy a big bag of presents from yeah. all bits and no nonsense yeah. and through, fill it, and they love a big Bubbles. bag, don't they? Bubbles. Big, big got, bag yeah. of gear, and now buying one decent one. Here. But frozen, I could always stick something in there about frozen, and she would be happy. Go mad. That would be her ultimate dream forever. Wow. That would be on a bedroom wall. I hope my son's watching, because there's something for you know who. Buy yeah. it. And it. it's signed as well by yep. the five main actors, uh, yeah. Idina Menzel, by Groff, Bell, Gad and Fontana, all yep. signed it. All signed it. It's Wonderful. a fabulous item. Again, frame it up. Imagine, maybe you've just had a, or you're about to have, you know, maybe, you, maybe you've got a granddaughter or grandson of that period, or maybe if you're having a child now and you're doing up a nursery, imagine how they would link to that. Oh, so totally. You could put that on the wall as you yeah. rule. Piece, you know, piece de right. resistance, couldn't you? Stick Hang that on the wall on and put all the other yeah. stuff around it. And and the likelihood it was it may also well go up in value. Can't guarantee that. Don't no. buy it for that, obviously. Yeah. But it is a true collectible and something that you could put a massive smile on yeah. a child that you know's face. That Absolutely. would look brilliant. I think it's super that for a kid's uh, bedroom. Mm. But now we're going to go on to uh, something that's dear to my heart because uh, I actually helped with the charity for this um oh, kate well. winslet and leonardo dicaprio the titanic the film yeah and there's a classic photo here and it's personally signed by both and the only reason i remember it was we did a huge charity do at st george's hall when they released titanic oh, on wow. Uh, video. It wasn't DVD then. Oh, it right. was video. Okay. And I sang the song. My heart will go on with the oh, BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Not yeah. talented, this lady. Yes, she is yes. available through myself. For uh -huh. agency, uh -huh. bookings, and know. you know what? They had the guy there 
that actually was the violinist and the leader of the orchestra on the film. Weird. And everyone dressed in the, the, the clothes of the era. Sounds amazing. So, so this, yeah. honestly, is still immensely popular. It You've is. Got and very, very rare. Really hard Absolutely. to get anything with both of well, them Well, Kate on. Winslet now, yeah. um, she is so stratospherically famous. Mm. And Leonardo DiCaprio as well. Did he it's do The Wolf of Wall Street? Have I got the right did one? He, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, Wolf, yeah, Wolf, Wolf of Wall, of Wall Street. Street yeah. So I mean, he, both of them have absolutely soared. This yeah. was a sort of um, springboard It for was, wasn't it? And obviously yeah. Titanic is huge, you know. But anyone, again... Not anymore, is well, it? No, no. But as a collectible, <laughs> Titanic has a huge collectible base know, as well. But anybody who loves, collects their, you know, yeah. their TV film and their art autographs, we've got yeah. some absolute premier division stuff here that you'd never see normally, you know. No. Again, that is ready to just mount. Put it in a frame, hang it on your wall, or as if it's a gift for a special, special occasion. Wherever you're watching, anywhere in the world, somebody would love that as a gift. Absolutely, and, and look at the price as well. Personally, genuinely signed. Yeah, only £185 it's for a, a fabulous bit of memorabilia there. And now, gosh, we're coming up to the final few now. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Absolutely now, wonderful. This, this guy is a lot of the people in AFTA who I'm a member of, as I say, they, they are pro quite probably the top autograph trade dealers association <laughs> in the world. And when you buy anything here on Benham TV, it will come with the full backing of them when it is an autograph. You'll get a certificate of authenticity and you get a lifetime guarantee. Clint Eastwood is renowned for one of the most difficult, <laughs> genuine signatures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone brought a dog in, are they? It's um, <laughs> he's the uh, Clint Eastwood is one of the most again fake signatures there is, and also he's uh, a secretarial. You know, it's unusual yeah, yeah. to get a signature. This has come from an Aftel background, and it's telling you that it is genuine, and that is actually extremely rare, Clint Eastwood. It's brilliant, and for him, a good yeah. price. And in the in the outfit that you always associate it with yeah absolutely gorgeous and what this is a cracking price as well 250 pounds uh, if you it's tried to source his, his autograph from somewhere you'd be very hard pushed to find well, it wouldn't you only not long ago six months ago again i was at a charity auction one of those put in a frame beautifully put together yeah a charity auction for 850 pounds wow i can Good again grief. tell you where and when that's, that's brilliant the, uh, power of his autograph and how difficult it is to get to yeah. grab it while you can lovely now we did show the orlando bloom picture uh, earlier yeah picture. we've spoken about and um, we mentioned the photo as well we'll do, just do another quick mention of it this is 300 double four one the orlando bloom classic uh, photo it's personally signed 95 pounds yeah great and price gorgeous and uh, and if you're watching steve there's a young lady here who would like that on her bedroom oh I, th I think i'd like i'd like him in the you know, i'm not going any we don't want to that. say though you know <laughs> you uh, that might be the nearest you used to say how would you like to wake up in the morning and orlando bloom is looking at you Hey, yeah, looking down off the wall. I mean, that's about the I nearest you're going to get. I would be horrified yeah. that you saw me in that state. So no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah, you wake up and he says, "Hi, Debbie." How are you? Oh no, he wouldn't. Yeah. He'd be screaming, "Let me out!" <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you can imagine, can't you? Yeah, yeah you can dream. And yeah. our final one for this hour, um, yeah. Jimmy Cagney, James Cagney, yeah. a vintage photo. And this, this, this is six hundred and ninety-five pounds. Jimmy Cagney. I mean, so, so few autographed anything of Jimmy Cagney. James Again, Cagney. he's an icon, isn't he? he? Is. A, a, a TV film, well, a TV, a really more of. A film icon yeah. but again this is an old as you have a look at that image a very old vintage black and white photograph yeah. of james cagney personally signed and again comes to you with impeccable provenance yeah no ifs no buts all of these signed items don't even hesitate google us google myself gary ashburn Google Aftel, Google Benham TV, and you will see they've been in the game, Benham for over 50 years, me for over 30 years, and everything we bring you is 100% genuine. Yeah, we rest. guarantee that, and you yeah. get the lifetime certificate. That's it, you can rest No ifs, assured. no buts, you know it's real. Yeah, and I remember uh, J James Cagney, he was, uh, I saw a very, very old interview, and gosh, I think it might have been Michael Parkinson with him, and Michael Parkinson was asked him, 
asked him, how does he act? What does he do? Does he use the Stanislavski method? And he was horrified. He said, you just do it. He said, you don't sweat about it. You don't think about it. You just go on, you learn your lines, and you do it. And I thought, yeah. that's, that's the most sensible piece of advice. Because you know you do see people going, I am a tree. I am a tree. I am that tree. He was just, get in and do yeah. it. Be a pro. Well, you know what I'm like? You may have been unfortunate enough. I admit, keep it a secret. I don't want anyone else knowing. But you might have seen it occasionally when we do little promos around it. Tell you about the other shows we do. Some of Most people like Debs, they'll do one in 30 seconds. Me, three days. I go, <laughs> take yeah. 306. Yeah. yeah. Gaz. And it's, <laughs> I have to have everything written down here, like in 10 second breaks. Not yeah. a pretty sub. But uh, I'm only and he needs, he, he's supposed to do it in 30 seconds. <laughs> but his, his mouth's still going, I'm yeah. bad Slow enough. down, slow down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's been know. a great hour, hasn't it? It's amazing. Do have a look at that Benham website, www.benham.tv. It's full of fabulous items. Whatever you're looking for, I say Star Wars, Star Trek, Game of Thrones, whether it's Harry Potter, whether it's sport, whether it's Wales royalty, whatever it is, do have a little look on there. Also check Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow us on all of them. Have a little look on YouTube. You'll see some of the shows. Have a look if you want Facebook as well. We'll be there. You can actually interact with us. <coughs> and if you want to send an email through to myself or have a question answered, anything, whether it's about buying one of these rarities on a, you know, on a yeah. sort of a special payment scheme or it's a particular item you're looking for or you want to get something valued, do send it through and we will get back to you personally. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just send it to info yeah. at benham.tv and we'll get back to you straight away. That would be brilliant. And also, uh, I'm on Twitter at Debbie Jones TV. That's D-E-B-I at Debbie Jones TV. And if you do anything on t Twitter or, or message me or whatever, you know, I'll always come back and tell you what people are saying mm. that they're enjoying as well. Well, you're It'd still doing great. your show regularly, <coughs> aren't you, every week? I do, gosh. Regular. I'm doing all sorts all over the place. I lose track. I'm a jobbing presenter. I have no airs and graces. Yeah. I do deluxe radio every Saturday and Sunday morning, 8 yeah. to 10. Well, is that in Kent, isn't it? It's in Down Kent. More. It's based in Kent, but I do it by the miracle of modern equipment from, from uh, the kitchen. From, from Liverpool. Uh, yeah. No, actually, the living room, but there oh, you go. Right. <laughs> Can't be bad. I was doing it the other day, and the postman came, and you heard the bell, and you heard the dog barking. So pro, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, did you? Yeah, but yeah. do keep watching. I say, keep watching all these great, great shows here on uh, Benham TV. Got loads of different shows. Remember, if you go to that website, have a little look down the side. You can actually scroll down and see all the various different shows that are available for you on all different genres of collectibles yeah. and memorabilia. As I say, whether it's TV, film, music, sport, whatever it is, they're all listed there, and you can just select the show you want to watch and when you want to watch and it, I'm going so to, no need to miss I'm it. I'm going to look at some girly things for you to feature because it's all great and it's all unisex because, you know, men and women will like everything. But I would quite like some girly things, so we're going to have a little chat about that.
<laughs> Thanks for your company. See you again soon here on Bye. Betting TV. Ciao.